Hello everyone, Glenn Morano here, Gamertag SC Space Shadow TSI on the Xbox. Weekly news roundup for August 11th, 2020. We have a few things to talk about, but the biggest thing, and I'm going to talk about it right away, uh, Grand Theft Auto Online got their update today. It was a minor update. It shouldn't have been a big update. Everybody was expecting it to be a big update, but it wasn't a big update. So what did we get with the update? Well, a few things. We got some yacht missions. Now, where I played one of the yacht missions and the money payout was quite low. So don't be going out to buy a yacht just to do these missions. You're not gonna make your money back. If you wanna have fun with the game and add content to your game, get the yacht. Otherwise, $10 million on a yacht in game, it's a bit high. Um, there's a couple of new cars at Benny's. Um, and fixes to the orbital canning, uh, the oppressor cooldown was carried over the there is a cooldown about four and a half minutes when you want to request it via the motorcycle club but you can bypass that by calling your mechanic and having your mechanic bring it but their cooldown now carries to that so you can't do that anymore good good there's also an easter egg hunt that is available uh, from solomon it's it's over in the movie theater um or rather the movie studio so you gotta walk in you gotta walk around you see the big s on the map so you can't miss it um, it, it doesn't tell you much. It just says basically says, "Hey, there's a few things you gotta go find around a map." I have to think there'll probably be a, a cool unlock, maybe like a gun or something like that. Um, so yeah, there's a there's a few things added. Um, they you know I, they buffed the orbital cannon. I, I mentioned that they, they had a fix on that. Um, the oppressor cooldown I mentioned. Uh, there's also some speculation that the uh, B11 has been buffed i mean not, not not everything has been discovered and i've discovered a few things here and there but not everything has been discovered so i'm sure we'll hear a lot more and go check it out on G gta online it's a it's a, a quick download it's not a big download so of course it shouldn't take very long in other news the xbox controller for the xbox series um x has leaked online the packaging the way the controller looks it looks a lot like the elite controller so that's pretty cool um if we're gonna get those upgrades i think that's gonna be awesome it also mentioned on the package of the xbox series s which is probably a cheaper version of the xbox so that's interesting so i guess they're gonna kind of stick with the same strategy where they have a kind of a lower processing powered xbox and then a higher processing powered xbox um We'll see how that plays out, but that's what it looks like for right now. On the PS5 uh, news, uh, looks like, well, P PlayStation, it looks like they may have trouble with their backward compatibility, and I'll tell you what's going on. If they, they are going to offer backwards compatibility, they have to because that's the way the market is. There's no way that they can come out without having that. However, unlike Xbox, which has a list of backwards compatibility games that were certified to work correctly, the PlayStation is going to... So what I hear is that the games will be able to be played, but there may be slight glitches, or the game may break in the middle, or something like that. So don't expect your games to play completely on PlayStation 5 for now. Obviously, they're going to be working on that, and I have to think that they're going to correct that issue, but that's what is going on at the moment. In other PS5 news, um, he, Hitman is coming out uh, next January 2021 from the last I saw for release date. It has a VR compatibility, which signals that play, uh, Sony and PlayStation 5 is going to probably lean heavily or invest heavily into VR games next year. Will VR games be the next generation type games? I mean, they've been trying it for so long, almost, what, four or five years now? And it hasn't really worked but there's other signals like there's a and i forgot the company's name but they're working on and i, I sent a past video they're working on a, a, a game for rockstar also in vr they did work uh before on lenore making that vr so is the future going to be vr we'll see Netflix has a documentary being released soon called High Score. It's a documentary on the history of video games and how it changed the world. I think it's probably going to be around eight episodes. 
Um, that's certainly a binge-worthy series if you're interested in games as much as I am, and I am very interested in games, and I love the history of it. Being a gamer for almost 30 years, I'm really looking forward to seeing how this plays out. Um, it's, I think it's going to be a great series. I'm going to binge it. I always end the news round with games that are going to come out this week. And we have a few games coming out. Uh, Hyperscape on August 11th. We have Metamorphosis coming out on the 12th. And a pretty anticipated title, US UFC 4, coming out on the 14th. I have some trailers coming up for that. So check that out, and I'll see you after the trailers. in the hyperscape. That's not supposed to be there. Well, let me get you all up to speed, okay? About 30 years ago, everything that we feared about our future started to come true. We made some good decisions. Order. We made some bad decisions. Actually, we made a lot of bad decisions. So, here we are. Ten billion souls living in the crush of the megacities. But the people at Prisma <laughs> changed everything. They gave everyone a way out. The Hyperscape. In the Hyperscape, the biggest draw by far is Crown Rush. This is where anyone can become someone. Rush, it can change your life. But strange things have been happening lately. Rumors of people getting hurt. Users disappearing from the real world. A darker secret lies at the heart of Hyperscape. And we have to find it. Some of us are searching for a way up. Some of us for a way out. And for others, a new way all together. That's what brings us to the edge of the future. To the hyperscape. Rated T for Teen. Dear Gregor. What? How do they know my name? Did you transform into a bug in your bed? Are you feeling uncomfortable in your new skin? Everything seems unfamiliar and bizarre. Wondering if this is all just a bad dream? Relax. Everything is fine. Now, a one-word answer to your problems. Acquaint yourself with amicable arthropod associates. Obtain opportunities for occupational augmentation. And discover a different destiny for yourself. For the best employees, restoration back to human form.
Just what is this tower? Did I have fights in the street? Yeah, but that was many years ago. Fighting with people trying to take my head off. That was always my safe zone. It's mixed martial arts. We are the artists. That's the last style better, folks. This is this, is, <laughs> this isn't for everyone. Some people, they run away. And some people fight. Baptized, somebody getting baptized. Three piece with the soda. Surprise, the king is back. It's over, dog. Put the strap on my shoulder. Cook guys, let's go back. Combat that. Ben style and space, mind and face. There's two different artists trying to impose their will on the canvas. He's in a really bad situation here. He might have to tap. Do they keep fighting, digging, fighting, digging? To the tap, you'll see. I just pull a straight to the tap. Straight to the tap. To the tap, you'll see. No one straight to the tap. Straight to the tap. I'm still me at the end of the day. You'll see. I'm gonna do this my way or no way. Just imagine this. It's the true crossover of combat sports. Welcome to the UFC. That's going to do it for us in Video Game News Roundup this August 11th, 2020. If you enjoyed this video, a like would be appreciated. It helps the YouTube algorithm. If you are new, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you'll always be informed when our videos drop. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Check me out on Insta, Glenn Morano. Also, we have a new Facebook community, The Shadow Corporation. Also, my gaming creator, Page, which is also the Shadow Corporation. It's all member focused. I really want to focus on the members in the community and not so much on the single streamer. I created a new streaming schedule and we are going to be streaming almost every day. Uh, so we're going to look at Sunday 8 to 11 p.m. Tuesday 12 to 1 p.m. 12 to 1 a.m. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday the same. Saturday is going to be a casual night. Maybe, maybe not streaming anyway. While we're streaming, we talk a lot about news. Uh, I'd love to hear what you guys think. If you got some news tips, bring them over. I'd love to talk to you about them and hear what you have to say. And I also love to hear what you guys think about the, you know, the stirring, the current state of games. I got, I got my words again. I, I know how to use my words anyway. Thank you so much again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.